Hi everybody, it's Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to list some more um, full wallpaper books in my Etsy shop. So this is just a video showing the flip through if anyone is interested. By the way, I want to go ahead and thank you um, so much for um, buying all the, uh, the last set I posted. And so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do more. So this is the first one. This is going to be letter A in the shop, and I will have the link down below. Um, this is 16 by 11 inches, and that is the biggest page, okay? And it's got 36 pages total, which is counting these smaller pages right here. And just for reference, here is a yardstick. So it's like, so y'all can see, okay? And I'm going to do a quick flip. Now, this is a really interesting book because it is cork. So, all of these images are on, um, have got, well, most of them are on cork. This and these are not on cork, I don't believe. These are a grass cloth texture. Um, and there's another one there. This is again on the cork. I don't know if y'all can see that texture. It is a really cool texture and it's very um, flexible. So it is nice. And um, I've noticed as I am using more and more wallpaper, which y'all know how much I love the wallpaper, um, lots of the different sections color coordinate with each other. So um, there, it's really, really nice to have a whole book because you can go through and everything pretty much matches each other. Okay. These all have some kind of texture to them. Um, not Like I said, they're not all cork, but they all pretty much are textured and um, feel really, really nice. Be good for all your projects. Durable. I mean, look at that. So cool. Lots of different patterns. Um, this is a good one to have because the pages are bigger. And then in the back, I didn't even count these in the pages, but you've got all these other littles, which I think are great for tags and pockets and um, stuff like that. So, all right. So this is um, book A, 36 pages, um, 16 by 11 inches. Okay, let me grab B. All right, this is B. This is 40 pages. It's 12 by 11. Again, this, I left these pages in that have these samples on them because you can tear these off. You can make tags out of them, pockets, little journaling cards. They're really good. Um, this is a book of really good, thick, textural wallpaper, okay? This is gonna be great for covers, um, pockets, belly bands, things like that. A lot of neutrals in this book. There's some texture there. I don't know if y'all can tell. Lots of good metallics. Um, this is another good book. I've, I have another book like this and I use it for all these little things I'm talking about. Um, because I just think it's nice. You know, I love putting a piece of wallpaper as the first page of a signature. Um, you know, look at this, these colors are great. But again, lots of good neutrals, lots of colors, not a lot of like patterns in this one, but if you already have some wallpaper or um, scrapbook paper even, this would be a good book to sort of coordinate your colors. I mean, look how pretty this blue is. Y'all see that? Let me move this over, it's so pretty. Sorry about the glare. Um, this is really pretty, love these two. And all these metallics, you know, kind of coordinate back to the metallics in the beginning of the book. So, another good one. And there's some more marbly effect. Again, you know, very, got some texture to it. And this is kind of a woven, isn't that a gorgeous jewel tone right there? All right. Okay, so there's the flip of that one. And again, this is letter B, 40 pages, 12 by 11. Okay, let me grab book C. All right, this is book C, and it is so big, it can hardly fit in the frame. <laughs> it is 17 and a half by 12 inches. 
And that, of course, is the biggest page in the book. There are smaller pages. I count the 70 pages. And this one has got some pretty kind of neutrals in it, too. I wish I could. Do I need to? It's going to make anybody sick if I go this way with this so y'all can see how um, big it is. There we go. It's a little better. Anyway, so again, this is more of a smoother, kind of flatter texture, but has got a lot of really nice um, different designs in it that all, again, colors all coordinate with each other. Like, look at the, here comes some of your florals here. Really pretty. That's a pretty floral. Oh, look at that one with a little purple in it. Um, Again, lots of good neutrals, good for envelopes. I mean, you can just do so much with wallpaper. Look at this pretty field, kind of looking grass. Look at that, you got a donkey or a horse down there. Lots of different colors of that one. And then, ooh, look at that one. Very pretty. Very kind of springy. Look at this color, so pretty. Y'all, it's hard for me to part with some of these, but I just have so much. I just want to share with y'all and I need to make some space. So, there's some more design, some kind of ge 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 geometry, ge geometric, geometric, there we go. Kind of boho-y, lots of pretty color. There's a good neutral of that one. It's kind of reminds me of an animal print. Y'all, look at these little houses. That has some texture to it. Um, how cute are those? Again, love all the coordinating colors. Look, that's pretty too. That kind of reminds me of like wheat or, oh, and that does have a raise. That's almost like an embossed on it right there. Okay, so there's that book, and on the listing, it's gonna, you're going to see, um, when you click on the listing, this first page with the, you know, the letter attached like I have here. It's going to be exactly the same. All right, so now let's go to D. Um, that one I just showed you see is going to be the tallest. Um, this is D, 74 pages, 15 by 11 inches. Okay. Really, look at this, really pretty white and blue. Coordinating, can y'all see that? Pretty coordinating pages there. There's your black of that. And um, look how pretty this is, this kind of golden yellow. And then you've got some shiny metallics. Have a little bit of glitter, but the glitter doesn't flake, flake off, which I think is great because I'm not a huge glitter person when the glitter goes everywhere, but I like the look, you know, in some of my projects. Um, so pretty, that yellow gold color, some green, blues here, uh, this is very cool, this has got a cool texture to it, and this is pretty, this has almost got like a spongy kind of textury feel to it. These would be cool, almost even cut out, make tags or decorate different journals with. That's cool. This is very pretty too. Silver and taupe kind of color. Your fruits. Some ooh, pretty trees here. That's really pretty. Again, kind of that embossed texture. All there's that yellow again, all coordinates back to each other. Okay, more florals back here. Whoops, I skipped a page. Whoops, skipped two pages. Okay, there's green, there's some ivy, there's some florals. Okay, and there's that in blue. Here's the tan khaki, and then some geometrics on this one. Ah, look how pretty this is. That is so pretty. I mean, honestly, these books just give you the ability to go through and mix and match and create. I love this. 
that's one of my favorites. I have this in a book that I made and I kept it for myself. I liked it so much. I just love the muted color of that. And that would be good for your summer projects. These are good. Either you can cut out, fussy cut these, or just use it whole. Okay, and then in the back, we have some more leaves. And you've got the gray, the tan, and let's see, the berry back. <laughs> okay, kind of your taupey gray color here, okay? So this is book D. And what I'm gonna try to do um, for the next little while, let me grab book E, is um, maybe every couple months, list five, and kind of just see how it goes. Um, so I may not list any more for a few months, um, full books that is. Okay, this is E, 64 pages, and also depends what I can source to with that. 64 pages, 15 by 11. Okay, start out with a thicker piece like a textured thicker piece that's pretty it's got a little bit of shimmer in it okay and there's your gray Oop, let me get in the frame this one looks like it's kind of a pale blue there's another geometric oh that's so pretty I love that all right, texture, oh, that's really cool. Kind of looks like an ECAT print, is that what they call that, ECAT? That yellow, pretty color, blue. Again, that's a thicker piece. Um, that's an interesting, this would be pretty for journaling cards to cut up and make pockets with. Really pretty, and you can feel that texture on there. All right. And then there's some more geometric. Pretty. And then those golds, taupey grays. Okay. There's some, ooh, that's pretty. I love that diamond. What do they call that? Kind of like a harlequin print. Very pretty. Love that. Love that. Again, that pretty color, blue, soft blue, some yellow in here, there's some gray, toasty gray, ooh, very pretty pale blue. That's very pretty. All right, and then here's some more like metallic-y, some black and white, blue again. I just, this blue throughout, I just think it's so pretty. Alright, that's pretty. It's kind of got a little texture to it, but I like how it's kind of burnout. It's got that burnout on it. And then, can you all see that okay? And, and this is pretty. This is almost like a bronzy rose gold. And there it is in a kind of creamy white. Can you all see that okay? And that's the last page. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm not going to keep you any longer, but um, thanks for taking a look. And like I said, I'll have my shop linked and this listing linked below. And y'all, please let me know if you have any questions. And, um, you know, consider subscribing to my channel. And y'all have a great day. Bye.